Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Xgene and Protein X. In this tutorial video, I'll show you that how to amplify different DNA fragment, how to um, and how to design primers, and additionally, how I, I will show you that how to join this kind of different DNA fragment. So actually, this is it will be very long part and it's not possible to cover the all of the part in the same video so i will divide this whole tutorial part some maybe two or three or more part so here this is actually the introductory part so here only the just i will show you that the primer design and amplification and jump some basic part about it so let's move on to the tutorial part so here you see the fragment a and fragment b these two fragment if you have any desired dna sequence you want to amplify first so for that there are different kind of primers we have to design so first we have to learn how to design this kind of primer so for example the fragment A. For fragment A, how do how to design this kind of primer to amplify uh, such kind of overlapping uh, part? So for that, you see here. This is the schematic diagram that I made. The primer one F that is here. It should be here the the complement region of this part for our primer. But this is the normal primer. There is no such difference. But here you see here when the reverse primer so reverse primer is there is one flanking region this is not the normal design of the primer right so this part it will bind with this template but for this part there is no binding region so it will be it will be there is the flanking region and also this part it should be complement with another fragment so for example this is the fragment a and this is the fragment B. So for fragment B, you have to also amplify this part by designing two different primers. So for that also primer 2R, there is no such difference with this primer 2R and primer 1F design. These are same. But primer forward primer, there is little different with this kind of primer. So this primer and this primer are almost same kind of design. So here also you see primer 2F it would bind here in this in this template but the rest of the part there is no binding region so also it make flanking region but when you join this fragment a and fragment b so these two parts would be complement with each other and when it, when they joined by overlapping pcr or, or ligase enzyme then these two part these two part will bind with each other so here for better understanding i show you that how this kind of primers and these flanking regions are so this flanking region for the primer 1R you see here this kind of sequence are here and for primer 2F this kind of sequence in the this flanking region so this part are flanking region this part also from here is flanking region now you see here if you if you look at very clearly you see here these parts are complement so C G C G A T G C G C so these parts are complement so when they will uh, come together and by the using of the ligase enzyme they will they will join with each other and it will make a single fragment so there are some criteria to design this kind of primer so this kind of part so it can consider as a one primer so so this kind of primer the parameter should be not actually minimum 20 bp long and um, the gc content should be also 50 percent both part so you should consider this this um, each part in this kind of uh, parameter so in this kind of primer it should be little longer so not less than 42 or 45 bp so at least 42 bp you should be uh, considered for this kind of primer so let's move on to the uh, my snap gene 
so how, I will show you that how this kind of primer works and you see here this kind of primers you see here this for example part part A and part B so here you see part B sorry part B and part C okay so take an example for this kind of these two parts for joining right so part C you see parts if we want to amplify this part C individually so for that there is one primer and another primer also here or primer C you see here so this is a flanking region this part is flanking region so it should be so it will bind to it another part and uh, for part B also here is one flanking region when I amplify part B so for that this primer and part B here this primer so one is forward so forward primer you see this is the normal primer normal primer design no problem and uh, but primer primer so another primer this is another primer for prim part B so this is you see this is the flanking region and if you check the parameter of this primer you see the parameters see the parameters uh, for not, not need to click this see the parameter here so one binding side TM and GC content 51 percent so no less than 50 percent should be the GC content so if you so this part it should be you should consider one primer right it should bind here so you can see here how much GC content so it is around 48 percent 25 BP long no less than that 20 BP or minimum and also you can consider this part because this part also it will join with another fragment when you join it so you see also this part also GC content is 54 percent and 26 BP so also it is considerable so by this way you can you can design this kind of primer so after that after that you have to show and so this at that actually this is a two part so part one I did I explained how to do um, how to uh, amplify this kind of fragments and part two is the join how to join this fragment so there are two different way you can join this kind of fragments maybe two or more than two three or four no problem that uh, according to your experiment design so you there are two different process to join this kind of fragments either use ligase enzyme or overlap PCR so these two of the part these two step I will explain you later for each individual video I will make individual video for each part like this enzyme and overlap PCR so for here just this is the one brief overview how it works this ligas enzyme this ligas enzyme this is the actually this enzyme it allows to to join complementary part with different fragment so this is the fragment A and fragment B and this is the overlap region so this enzyme it allows to join this kind of complement region after that it will make one single fragment so this is the single fragment so now it is ready to amplify with other vector so by this way you can do this kind of things so this is very complicated process if you have any queries regarding this kind of prop regarding this kind of overlapping PCR or this kind of uh, amplification so you can 
write the comment in the comment box and if you like this video kindly hit the like button share it and don't forget to subscribe my channel i hope this video will be helpful thanks